Hi, everybody. <laughs> this is such an amazing space. Thank you so much to the organizers who curated such a beautiful, thoughtful evening um, for us to share and engage with one another. Um, so my name's Cleo Barnett, and I'm the program director of Amplifier. We are a nonprofit design lab who build uh, visual campaigns to shape the national narrative. And we do this by collaborating with community organizers and educators and influencers and contemporary artists to create digital media experiments in the public space. So we believe that art has the ability to amplify the voices that are systematically erased in mainstream media. And we believe that art is much more than beauty or decoration. We believe that it can be a weapon and a shield in the battle for representation, dignity, and safety. We also believe that there's an unquantifiable power of art where once you see something, you can never unsee it. And so that's why art is such a foundational part of what we, public art is such a foundational part of what we do with Ampli at Amplifier. Um, one of our missions is pr to provide people with tools to participate in democracy. So all of the artwork that we commission is available free on our website as high resolution downloads. I hope that you all received free artwork in your gift bags today. Um, any money we ever get goes towards providing free artwork for people, providing commissions for artists that are directly impacted by the topics that they're working towards. Um, and we believe that by providing access to this artwork, people can put it up and they can put it up in windows, put it up in public spaces, and then we start to be able to reclaim our national visual landscape. Um, and at Amplifier, we specifically believe that art is a tool for many different things, but we see it as a compass that's pointing towards the future that we all want. Um, so this is We the People. It's how we kind of got known, although we were doing stuff before this across many different sectors. Um, but how this campaign came to be was actually working in collaboration with many different thought leaders um, after 45 was elected and just the violence in the streets became a much more prominent threat. Um, we brought together thought leaders from across the country and we asked them, what do you wanna say when the entire world is watching? Um, and from these sessions, we came up with We the People. Um, the idea was also to come up with some phrases that didn't fit within a certain party lines. It, it was nonpartisan, it's basic human rights. We the people will defend dignity we will be greater than fear, and we're gonna protect one another. Um, so when we were coming up with this campaign, we knew that we wanted to get this artwork into the hands of as many people as possible. We knew we wanted it to be crowdfunded, and we knew we wanted to capture the media's attention at this moment of time with the inauguration with the Women's March, and we wanted to redirect the media away from fear and hatred and mobilizing this demigode, and we wanted to push it towards what we stand for, what our values are, um, as people living in the United States. Um, and so we found out that uh, if we raised enough money, one dollar would mean six pieces of artwork printed and distributed through this corporate mach machine of newspapers. Um, and we ended up raising $1.36 million in eight days, which was totally not. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, it ended up breaking the Kickstarter art history. They told us that we would be lucky to raise $10,000. Um, and we were like, oh crap, I hope we're not gonna have a job then, because <laughs> we put all of our funding into it. Um, and we ended up having 28,000 backers who got behind this. Um, and we asked people to grab the newspapers and bring it out into the street in solidarity with the women's movement and the women's march. And people did, and it was so surprising because they did it all around the world. Um, we provided the artwork on our website as free downloads, and people all around the world printed out the artwork and made dresses and <laughs> projected, um, which, yeah, and so I think a big part of this too is representation, right? Like seeing, seeing yourself in visuals, um, and because I'm running out of time, what we're <laughs> up to now is we are working with, we have over a thousand educators who have signed up for our education cohort and we are collaboratively building curriculum um, to bring this artwork into the classroom alongside uh, social justice curriculum to provide teachers with tools to be able to talk about Charlottesville, to be able to talk about these issues in a nonpartisan way, and also to provide new symbols 
and uh, new icons in the classroom for the next generation to grow up with. Um, and we are also, myself as a curator, I'm really working on my process and how I can work with all of our partners in order to best support the social warriors of our time. Um, and we're committed to turning this into this. Um, we're not going to stop doing that. Um, yeah, so thank you. And uh, <laughs> thanks.